Um, so I thought I'd give a couple examples of stories we've done. So one of them is a story I wrote. Um, there was a woman, uh, an Aboriginal woman in Canada, who had gone to a mall, and it was Halloween, and she was there with her two children, and she saw that um, this store had hired a woman to wear a Pocahontas costume and was painting people's faces. Um, and this Aboriginal woman uh, saw the costume and, and felt that this was an example of cultural appropriation, where someone who was white was wearing a costume as an Aboriginal person as you know, just sort of a fun thing on a holiday, whereas Pocahontas was a real person and you know, yes, was in a Disney movie, but this was a real person, has a real story, and is tied to a real culture. And so she went up and she spoke to the person and she spoke to the owner of the store and said, this isn't a costume, this is my culture. I want you to understand that this offends me and you, know, you could have worn something else. You don't have to wear you know, my culture as a costume. And the, the woman actually ended up getting removed from the, the mall by security. Uh, and she posted on it on Facebook and my wife happens to be a friend of hers and I saw it and I interviewed her about it and I wrote it. And the initial reaction from people in the comments was, some of them were like, this woman is overreacting, this is ridiculous, like how far is political correctness gone? Other people were saying, no, this is cultural appropriation, this is wrong. And so the initial reaction was a lot of anger from different angles. Uh, and she started getting a lot of hate mail and other things, and it started you know, getting a lot of attention. And the thing that was really shocking about it was I also interviewed the woman who ran the store and she, she said, yes, this woman was overreacting, she shouldn't have made a scene like this. So they were on completely opposite sides of it. And then all this attention started coming to it. And instead of the two of them sitting on their two sides, what actually ended up happening was they got into a conversation over email and about a few hours after I wrote the article, I heard back from the woman, uh, the first woman who I'd interviewed and she said, you know what, we've actually talked and I'm gonna come and I'm gonna to talk to her staff and I'm gonna give them some training on sensitivity for Aboriginal issues. And we're gonna to work together to figure out ways where they can you know, celebrate holidays and do things, but in a way that is more culturally sensitive. And so the nicest part of doing that story, because it's like you write the story and then you see how angry people are and how much people are just on different sides and there's nothing that's bringing them together. And the two people, the central people who had the initial conflict actually came together and figured out a solution. And so then I got to update the story and say that. And for me as a journalist, that, that may, it actually felt really good to do that. I'm not saying like, you know, I helped solve the problem because it was the two of them who did it, it wasn't me. Um, but adding that update uh, was a really good thing. Uh, and you know, we pushed that out over social channels, um, but I also feel like you know, we have to find ways to promote that aspect of it better.